Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about volunteering. So, how can volunteering help you in your career and how can you put it on your CV so that it helps you and uh, people will hire you for actual paid jobs? Firstly, I do not believe in unpaid internships, stuff like that. I think that is very unethical. If you're doing work for a company which is not a charity and a job which really they should be paying someone for, you should be paid. For some careers, yes, doing unpaid internships is the thing you have to do. But if there's any way of kind of getting around that, do that. Do apply for the paid internships. If you're in any sort of career that's around engineering or STEM subjects, your internship should be paid. But when you're first starting out, there are lots of jobs which are unpaid and are traditionally unpaid and are for charities which actually couldn't afford to pay someone. Charity shops are a brilliant way of just getting that first little bit of work experience. If you have literally nothing and you want to get a job in a shop and you're having trouble, it's a really good way of just getting those basic skills of how to use a dill. Getting a bit of practice with customers and organising stock um, and it can be a laugh as well. It's really good just to have somewhere to make friends, to meet people stuff like that. As well as charity shops, uh, you've also got things like museums and historic buildings. So this is another really good place to get some experience in people. When I sort of worked in this industry, I used that sort of volunteering to get a lot of event management experience. Firstly, because I just enjoyed it. Secondly, because um, event management got me into project management um, and it gave me a lot of people, numbers, organisational skills, all those sort of things which are really useful in actually a lot of careers. I used to um, volunteer with a company called The Lions Part that do two events a year at the Globe Theatre. I used to get involved in oh, so many different things. I used to be sort of the dog's body who did stuff. So I used to fix costumes, I used to do music, I used to organise all the um, other volunteers. From that I got experience in managing other people. Even though I was a volunteer, I was managing other volunteers and making sure that stuff got done. Most of my volunteering at the moment is with the Association for Project Management. So here we're getting into more um, sort of skilled volunteering. So I started getting involved with them with one of their specific interest groups. So looking at um, writing publications, blog posts, stuff like that, that is specifically about um, part of project management and so I needed to have a bit of knowledge and skills in order to kind of get involved and now I'm one of their trustees so um, it's all to do with the governance and things like that so a lot um, all charities have trustees um, and I'll do another video about this at some point it's really good experience you get to see the inner workings of a company you need to be able to understand financial statements and you need to be able to understand the sort of ethical and the governance things that are needed within an organisation. But there are charities of all sizes, so um, a charity trusteeship is, um, while it's a very responsible role, um, it's also one that gives you a lot of experience and a lot of skills. But a lot of charities want someone who already has those experience and skills. It's really nice to have volunteering which is very different from your day job, so a lot of people do go for sort of museum jobs where they just get to sit in a room, make sure nobody breaks anything and chat about the history so much fun when you're getting stressed out all week to go and have a day where you can just sit and do that it's lovely so how to find your ideal volunteer role firstly look at what experience you're looking to get what you want to get out of it um, and this is very selfish so you really can't go into any anything not just volunteering you can't go into it with a very selfish viewpoint but also you need to know what you want out of it. From the work that I do with the Association for Project Management, I knew I wanted exposure, I wanted to make sure that I was seeing a cross-section of the project management community and understanding how project management works, which would help me in interviews, which would help me in my career, would mean I know people so that when I want to ask questions about my job, um, I go, ah, oh, I've got a risk question, I know who to ask. Um, that was what I wanted to get out of it. Um, and it's being clear in your head what you want, so whether it's you want to gain, I also want to gain um, skills with complex stakeholders and people that I would need to understand and need to deal with um, as part of my personal development. So that's why I went into sort of volunteering with a professional body, but in the past um, I've wanted more hands-on roles, so that's where I went for more event management type roles. A lot of places need coordinators, need people to kind of fundraisers, stuff like that. Throughout my career I've sort of changed what volunteering experience I've done depending on what I needed to get out of it. So once you've worked out what you need to get out of it, go and have a look. So for, as I said before, always volunteer for charities. Don't volunteer for for-profit companies because that is unethical and actually usually it's illegal. Think about what kind of charity you 
actually want to volunteer for. Are you into history? Are you into preservation? Are you into something that's more about the people and more about education? Um, more about maybe disabilities, the elderly, children, whatever you're into and have a look and see what sort of roles they have available, whether they have charity shops or whether they have um, sort of specific roles where they need people. And what I would do, I'd just email. I think as soon as you get to bigger charities, generally most of their roles are paid, so you may have a lot less luck. But when you target smaller charities, they quite often have only one or two people who are paid and need more volunteers to actually do core functions. So it's really useful to go and, if you've already got skills, to go and say, I've got these skills, can I help you? Um, And then see where that leads, because quite often you'll pick up stuff along the way as well that isn't in your core skill set and can learn more. So once you've sort of found a charity that can give you some um, volunteer experience, you need to be clear that you understand why you're there and that you know what, not just what your wants are, but also what they need from you. Because most charities can't take in somebody who is dead weight. You need to be contributing. And it's fine. Most charities will understand if you don't have enough time and that it takes a bit longer. And that's the thing you pay with uh, volunteers. So next point, um, when you just don't have the time, Every organisation that has volunteers have volunteers who sign up for more than they can actually do. I've worked in so many companies with volunteers when I worked with the Girl Guides and the various other things I've done. Um, Volunteers are usually very, very keen and that is lovely and I am definitely one of these people. You go, right, I'm going to volunteer for this thing and then you just, you've overcommitted. You have to actually do your paid work first and talk to your family and do your housework and then you've got time for volunteering so make sure you don't take too much on just always take slightly less on than you think you can Um, and also remember that if you take too much on and it becomes stressful you will burn out and you'll just be like can't be bothered anymore and walk off and that's not what you want you want to keep giving and you want to keep giving for as long as it's sort of reasonable to do confidence building so I find volunteering brilliant for building my own confidence and it gives you somewhere that you can do stretch assignments that are a little bit harder than you do at work but um or are a little bit different from what you do at work and uh, people are always thankful that you're there as a volunteer as long as you're adding value and it just gives you that little bit of like hmm I've achieved something for the greater good. Um I've spent a lot of my career working on projects which are ethically And I think a lot of people work in jobs where you just don't feel like you're adding to the world and making the world a better place. You're just keeping it functioning. By working for charities and by volunteering, it gives you that little bit of of self-confidence and self-worth that shows that you're kind of worth being on the planet. Oh, that's deep. It's very deep. Also, it gives you a network of people. Even if you're not volunteering in an area where you work, I kind of... (laughs) very directly to something that is very directly to do with my career. Whatever you do, you will always meet people. And I always think just meeting random people is the time when you meet the most valuable people and the most surprising people who may be able to help you down the line or you may be able to help them. It's just worth making those contacts, um, understanding sort of the world in a wider way. It's also worthwhile looking into volunteering um, when you're not sure about a new industry and you're not sure about a new place. If you go and volunteer, you can find out what it's like and what the culture is and whether it's something you want to pursue more professionally. Lastly, volunteering helps you get to know yourself. Um, This is something, yeah, I really agree with. Um, I've done a lot of volunteering through the years in a lot of different places with a lot of different people. And it's really helped me understand who I get along with, who I don't get along with. It's made me realise what my values are, and it's made me realise where my strengths and weaknesses are. And it's given me that extra bit of space to just try things out and just have a go at stuff that I wouldn't normally do in my day-to-day job and my day-to-day sort of world. And you get thrown in, there's something that needs doing, and you know it just needs to get done. And you go do it, and then you realise that's not something you ever want to do again. I don't think I would have become a project manager if I hadn't done volunteering. And... The big thing is, you only get out of it what you put into it. And that's quite hard when you're leading a busy life, you've got family, you've got kittens running around, you can't give that much time. But really, if you've got any spare time, I think it's worth putting it into volunteering and going and putting yourself out there. And you can get shed loads back if you put shed loads in. Um, 
and it's definitely worth doing I think especially when you're younger. I started doing uh, volunteering at quite a serious level you know sort of doing weeks at a time when I was 14 and I think that was really worth it. At that point um, I remember volunteering all through my um, A-level mocks week um, and I wouldn't take it back. Um, It really added to my character it gave me work experience before I was old enough to actually get real work experience it gave me people experience it gave me the experience of you know getting up on time and having to get home and having to do it all again the next day and having to think for myself if a volunteering experience doesn't work for you try a different one but it's really worthwhile and it's a really good investment in yourself and in the world around you tell me what volunteering you do how has it helped you let me know comment below Uh, do like subscribe bell all that sort of thing and goodbye